Yes, hello, Roxana. <laughs> Hi, Jiri. Welcome to the podcast of Jiri Borch and Roxana Popet. This is my great guest today, Roxana, here with us. Welcome. Thank you. What a privilege, Jiri. Very honored. Thank you for having me. And as I was saying many times, you have a wonderful background behind you. I really, really admire it. It's a great. Where did it come from? What was the idea behind Thank it? You. Actually, this was originally here when we bought the house and I enjoyed it so much because it was different than the typical wall. So I really wanted to have my desk <laughs> right behind it so that I can have this very positive and floral background all the time that I work. It really does help with my mood as well. It's really great. Thank you. And uh, now, as I was saying, let's have a let's have an efficient and relaxed podcast together. Video cast also. You can uh, we will decide uh, if it will be audio or video or both. We will see how it goes. And uh, I would like you to introduce yourself professionally. And what do you do for a living? Actually, from the per- per- professional perspective, Roxana. Thank you for this question, Jiri. I am a fear specialist. As an NLP trainer and transformational speaker, I work with companies, with groups of employees, their managers, and the CEOs to help them look at fear from a different perspective. I literally help people make decisions despite fear. Very interesting. This will be a very interesting podcast with the word fear inside. I'm very, very interested in this subject myself. So I will be asking you many questions. I hope I can uh, come up with some good questions as well. Uh, anything else comes to your mind when I say, what do you do? Because I know you also as a podcaster. What about that? Uh, can you mention a little bit briefly? Thank you, Jiri. I do many things to keep it short <laughs> because I want to be respectful of your time. I do many wonderful, if I may say so, videos, podcasts, like we had the amazing time to record the Stories About Fear podcast with you as a guest. What a privilege, Jiri. I also do many sessions with all sorts of uh, guests on Instagram as well, on LinkedIn. I have my podcast also broadcast live sometimes. I am very eager to be hosting events. I love it. I'm so passionate about giving people a new perspective, helping them to see fear, not only fear, to have a different mindset when it comes to being more engaged. My goal, one of my goals is to get people into action, to get them moving. So I also host events. I'm also a speaker at different other Mm -hmm. events. And as a podcaster and as a YouTuber, I'm enjoying so many amazing insights for people that want more, need more, are very Mm -hmm. curious Mm -hmm. to engage in their lives. Roxana, thank you for uh, this introduction. I would like to go a little bit deeper and discover a little bit from your life. Uh, if you don't mind, we will start with your past. We will proceed through your present and maybe even look in your future a little bit. Uh, tell me, what uh, are you proud of, grateful for, or happy about to have achieved in your past? If you were happy about something, would you share with us some things that you achieved in the past, maybe? Yes, thank you. What a great question. I appreciate that. Mm -hmm. One of my greatest achievements is my daughter. She is 10 years and she's two years and a half. She is my most amazing creation, Julie. As you can tell, I'm very passionate about my work. I enjoy doing this amazing activity as a speaker, as a podcaster. However, nothing comes even close to the joy and the fulfillment that she brings me. And another great achievement is my master's in translations. I'm a certified translator in English and French, and it has helped me tremendously to spread my mission, to make my uh, business international just because I want to help and impact more people. So these are two (laughs) amazing achievements. And I can also mention my husband. He's also someone that supports me as much as possible. We are together for almost seven years now. 
And it has been a bumpy road, Jiri. And on one hand, I'm so happy that we did not quit because having a baby, having a marriage and two businesses and a job <laughs> as you've also employed, it was difficult. On the other hand, we have our baby girl. We still have our ups and downs, but it is a great achievement to be able to keep this marriage up and running, Jiri. No easy task, but it's worth uh, doing just so that it helps me be even more patient, more flexible, and truly grateful to have a very beautiful family. Roxana, you mentioned at the beginning of this podcast or videocast, you mentioned the word fear. Is there anything which comes to your mind with uh, concerning this word uh, from your past, uh, which uh, some story about fear, which is very interesting and you would like to mention it, maybe? Yes, I have hundreds of stories because, Jiri, you can imagine, no wonder did I begin to help people conquer their fears because I myself have had thousands of fears. My biggest fear was fear of letting go of my job. I used to be employed for six months. I was very young, my early 20s, and I would be very excited at the beginning. I was having this very nice international job in Timisoara here in Romania. The position was very nice paid. We had a nice office, and I thought, my life is perfect. I've achieved my dream work. Can I want more? After six months, I began feeling awful, completely unsatisfied. I was basically doing the same thing over and over and over again, and it began to drive me crazy. I began to feel very frustrated because my schedule was basically three thirds of the day from morning until evening at work. I could not leave that place. I would need to put up with many demands from my boss that would not resonate with who I was. My values did not belong there. And long story short, Jiri, it took me unfortunately eight more years of fear, anxiety, a heart disease, until I finally, finally had to push myself to conquer this fear of leaving a safe position and going towards my dreams. Because the dream of me having a business was after a few months after I got employed. However, because of fear of the unknown, fear of losing the money, the very nice, secure position, Fear of what would my family say because I have such a nice job here. I'll go, I'm going to be the laughing stock of everyone in my family. What will my colleagues say and so on. So I kind of began developing quite some fears, a few tens of fears only from that event alone, which has cost me my health. And thank God I got awakened at one point and I said I cannot take heart pills anymore I was in my I think it was I had around 27 years old when I said okay I need to do something regarding these fears so I began my NLP courses and thank God because that was my life saving um, <laughs> decision that I understood my emotions I realized that I was just a few decisions away from living a really good, amazing, and fulfilled life. So thank God for that. And that's why, Jiri, I help people now make decisions despite fear, because sometimes it's just an extremely overwhelming for us as business owners, as potential business owners, to look beyond fear. However, I learned that fear is inside of us as a friend. It's a guide. It's normal to feel fear. Just listen to it because it comes with a great message. I would like to encourage all our listeners now to stop a little bit and think of a question for Roxana and maybe even put it down under this video. Roxana will be checking and she will answer all your questions because 
If you have any questions about anything that Roxana is mentioning, please write them. Roxana will be happy to answer. Uh, I will go a little bit, just briefly, a little bit deeper into the subject and ask you maybe which concrete projects are you working on at this moment? What can you invite us to from your work perspective? Thank you, Jiri. Another great question. I am very eager to welcome everyone to listen to our episode that is going to be launched in just a few days on stories about fear. And right now, my biggest project is to scale my podcast, to make it reachable to more people, to bigger audiences. And I have plans to move out of Romania within the following months to pursue a bigger path with my career also as a speaker and as a host. So I'm going to combine all of the three activities as a podcaster, as a speaker, and as a host to be creating something meaningful of value, something powerful to awaken everyone around us in terms of we can control fear, we can control anxiety. Life can be amazing, stress-free. Perfect. I know you as a great speaker in a large communities around the world. I attended many of your lectures on fear and I can really recommend it. So please check out uh, Roxana's link below this video and uh, really check her podcast because it's very interesting. But Roxana, we are coming to the future. You partly answered one of my questions about future what does future hold for you but if you can maybe think a little bit more to add something here and there about the future reveal the your future a little bit more anything else on your mind concerning the future oh yes after i begin scaling my podcast i'm already thinking of the next step and my following plan is to become an investor I'm very passionate about real estate. So anyone who is going to see my pages, especially LinkedIn, can see all sorts of interesting articles as well. I'm learning on what it means to have a passive income. Passive in the real term, meaning that I would like to be on a vacation. I would like to be on holiday. I'm enjoying so much traveling that I would love it within the following years to have several streams of passive income, me traveling, going to certain islands, beaches, enjoying life, not delaying gratification at all, just enjoying the moment and having this passive income be nourishing my life completely. And this is something that I learn a lot about even now, as well as I'm going to open a detoxifying center. I'm very passionate about the healthy lifestyle, about giving people detox on the mind. I'm uh, very keen to be having very healthy communities around me, both spiritually, mentally, and of course, physically. And I did not live physically at the end just by coincidence, because I think that if we keep our spirit clean of negative thoughts and our mind uh, very, very clean of anything that can disrupt us or keep us from doing what we want to do, our body is going to be in amazing shape. What do you think, Jiri? I agree completely, Roxana. Thank you for those words. It's I'm very glad to be in contact with you and uh, to discover more in the future from your projects. Now let me uh, interfere with the human question to add a little bit of human touch you mentioned your daughter you mentioned your many projects do you have time for hobbies or not yes <laughs> and i have to say that here's a bit of a compromise because since my baby baby girl is running around my home every single moment she's now with my husband thank god I am doing all sorts of activities that are fun for me as well and for her as well. So we go out, we walk around. I'm enjoying a nice coffee as I sometimes have a few minutes to chat with my husband as she walks around and maybe goes and plays a, at the playground. We do songs together. We have all sorts of games. 
I'm teaching her English, one of my biggest passions in the world. She already knows the letters, the numbers. She knows a few songs in English and the colors. And this is a great achievement for me as I want to also have her be bilingual just to keep her brain developing even more. We read bedtime stories even in the morning. So I kind of am doing uh, also all sorts of very fun and cute activities that relax me as well. I need to just be honest. I did not think before having a child that I'd be enjoying dancing around, doing all sorts of uh, very cute things just to make her happy or to make her smile. But I see that it relaxes me most of the times. So I'm a full-time mom, full-time uh, business owner, and it seems to be working. Perfect, perfect. My niece, Eliska, she is two years old. Oh, so and uh, we spent much time together as well. And I know what you're talking about. So uh, great, great. Uh, any final message, takeaway message for our audience? Very brief one. What would you say? Thank you, Jiri. I would say to never stop. Our friends never, ever stop going for what you want. It may be tough. It may be really difficult and challenging at times. However, even if you do one millimeter of a step in a week, that's better than zero. So always move, no matter what. Roxana Popet, thank you. Thank you so much, Jiri. Mm -hmm. What a pleasure. And usually I would stop this video, but today I will not let you know, and we will go behind the scenes. Officially, it stopped the official part and I prepared uh, one additional question for you because I'm really interested what are the trends in the NLP coaching uh, can you share with us very briefly some trends if you if you yes. want I would love to Jiri thank you and I want to mention that I'm not a coach I'm a trainer uh -huh. this is sorry for better. that I apologize no worries <laughs> no worries this is even better, Jiri, because I can give you and your audience, if they're going to listen to this, a great exercise on how can you conquer your fear mm -hmm. in literally two seconds with yes. the help of neuro-linguistic programming. So, Jiri, whenever you feel stressed, you feel anxious, you feel that something is off, More, most of the times you may feel that things are not feeling or looking good because we just don't know how to put a label on our emotions. When you feel like that, you need to force a smile. This is the best message, Jiri, that you can give to your brain that you are safe. This means that you tap into your conscious mind, your logical, rational mind is kicking in looking for solutions. And the reason why I say force a smile when you feel down, when you feel anxious, let's be honest, Jiri, the last thing you want to do is smile, right? <laughs> you may be thinking, yes, when yes. I'm really stressed, I'm like, I don't want to talk with anyone. I don't want to smile at all. So do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Just mm -hmm. do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Already the muscles are aligning in that way that your brain recognizes a very familiar state of mind and it says well Jiri is happy Roxana is now happy let me bring in more happy moments because you know Jiri that our mind just gives us more of what we focus on focus on smiles and you'll see how your brain in an instant it automatically gives you pleasant positive memories so this is the best fear hack <laughs> that I could mm. ever give you guys it's amazing Put it in practice. Thank you. Let me know how it goes. Thank you, Roxana. Thank you. Um, do you have any question for me? Yes, Jiri. I would like to ask you about your future goals. What do mm -hmm. you see yourself doing in the next 10 years, maybe? Yes, yes. Um, I would like to uh, approach as many clients as possible from the perspective of the professional so going from one-to-one -one consultation private consultations i would like to 
keep those, but also add online courses where hundreds and thousands of people can learn from me something, maybe if I can share something a little bit that I know. And now we are speaking about uh, business English classes. So I would like to spread my business English classes to the to the whole world. Besides that, I would like to continue in my podcasting, in my community building and in my networking, scaling this business and um, connecting people from the whole world for a better cooperation and uh, for a better friendships and relationships and so on. So to help, to help better world. Wow, that sounds amazing. Congratulations for your wonderful, strong and powerful mm -hmm. mindset. I love it. And from my personal, I would like to keep on winter swimming. We just came from winter swimming with my mom. She's next door. And she's great because she swam five minutes in one degrees cold water. She has 42 kilograms only. She is a great winter swimmer. She's a great fighter. So she's a great inspiration for me. And I would like to follow her and learn, learn this uh, winter swimming more and continue in it. Because I think it's a great for immunity and body. It's amazing that your mother is such a fantastic role model for you. I, I applaud you for being in such an amazing family. This is beautiful. Thank you for sharing this with us, Jiri. What Thank an you, inspiration. Roxanne. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. And uh, good luck with everything and be healthy. All, all your family. You too, Jiri. Thank you so much. Thank you.